Hey everybody and welcome to episode 254 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, September 9th, 2015. So Ricky, another fan expo in the record books. Yeah. Uh, did you, uh, you have any cool stories? You meet any cool people there that you want to give a shout out to? Uh, yeah, Phil Lamar came by the booth. Phil Lamar yeah, from Phil Mad TV? Mad TV. No Voice way. of Samurai Jack. He came by the booth and I was like, hey, you want to take a picture? And he's like, uh, what am I taking a picture with? And I was like, well, my book. And he's like, uh, so he like flipped through the book. <laughs> and he was like, okay. And he's like, all right. So did he, took a picture. <laughs> did he buy a copy of the book? I or? gave him a copy. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Anybody, uh, anybody at the show recognize you from Unboxing Wednesdays? I've had a couple around? people come by. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I, these guys walked by. They were like, hey, the comic book man, and just walked away. And I was like, hey. You're like, buy my book. I was like, the, is it from the show? Or like, everyone's technically a comic book man here. <laughs> so, that was weird. We are all comic book then. All right, well, that was uh, last weekend in a nutshell. Uh, Ricky, why don't we go ahead and unbox this week's comics? All right, first up, we got some collectibles. We've got this Batman uh, Dorbs XL Series 1 figure and this Groot Dorbs XL figure. From Vinyl Idols, we have Back to the Future's Marty McFly. A late arrival from the Breakfast Club. She'll have to do some extra detention for that. Claire Standish. Some previews exclusive pops. We've got Batman and Wonder Woman. Gigantor. Just want to remind everybody to check out comicboxer.com. We're just through shipping um, this uh, past month's boxes out to everybody. So if you are a Comic Boxer subscriber, you should be getting your box sometime this week if you live in North America. Might have to wait a little bit longer if you live in uh, countries all over the world where we ship Comic Boxer too. Now you want to get in on September's Comic Boxer uh, assortment. I've been, been looking over the comics that We'll be going into the box, and uh, there are some awesome ones in there. So uh, please check that out at comicboxer.com when you have a chance and sign up. The spots are filling up fast, so if you want in on Comic Boxer, now is the time. Moving on to the collected editions, we have Batman Beyond 2.0, Mark of the Phantasm. In hardcover, we have Green Lantern, New Gods, Godhead. New today from Image Comics is a collected edition I highly recommend. It is Descender Volume 1 by Jeff Lemire and Dustin Wynn. And we've got Volume 5 of Saga, new in stores today. We got reprints today of Star Trek Green Lantern issue number 1, and reprints of Rick and Morty issue 2 and 3. Sonic the Hedgehog number 276, Phonogram the Immaterial Girl issue 2, Rebels number 6, Savior number 6. Just when you thought the world was done with Angry Birds, we have Super Angry Birds issue number 1. Star Trek Green Lantern issue 3. Making the jump to IDW is Atomic Robo. Got Atomic Robo number 1. Outcast number 12. Bitch Planet number 5. The Wicked and the Divine number 14. It's the new Mirror's Edge comic. This is Mirror's Edge Exordium number 1 of 6. Death Sentence number 4. New from Image Comics. Faster Than Light number 1. A new one from Boombox, Tyson Hess's Diesel, number 104. The Walking Dead, number 146. A new one that I'm really excited about, and Ricky can probably uh, talk talk to this book a little bit. It's Headlopper, issue number one of four, written and illustrated by Andrew McLean. This is the right regular Andrew McLean cover. This is the Raphael Grandpa cover. 80 pages of head lopping action. Moving on to DC Comics, we've got Arrow Season 2.5, number 12. All-Star Section 8, number 4. Gotham Academy, number 10. Catwoman, number 44. Here is the Catwoman Green Lantern variant. Earth 2 Society, number 4. New Suicide Squad, number 12. Awesome cover there. And here is the Green Lantern variant cover. Batman Superman, number 24. Here's the Green Lantern variant by Dave Bullock. Starfire, number 4. Starfire gets a Green Lantern variant. Justice League United number 13. Action Comics number 44. Here's the Green Lantern variant for that book. Batman 44, illustrated by Jock this week. Co-written by Scott Snyder and Brian Azzarello. I'm a big fan of Jock. Uh, this issue apparently goes into some of the origins of Mr. Bloom. 
Here's the Green Lantern variant by Tony Daniel. And here is the Harley Quinn road trip special featuring Harley on a road trip with Catwoman and Poison Ivy. I'm sure they're going to get up to all kinds of shenanigans. This is an oversized issue, $5.99 US. Moving on to Marvel, we've got Planet Hulk issue number five, Siege number three, Korvac Saga number four, Miss Marvel number 18. Here's the Miss Marvel manga variant. Mrs. Deadpool and the Howling Commandos number four, Secret Wars 2099 number five, Red Skull number three, A-Force number four, the A-Force manga variant, Quake number one, uh, this celebrates 50 years of S.H.I.E.L.D. Here's the variant for that book. Civil War number four, Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows number five. Here's the variant cover for that book. Darth Vader number nine, here's the Darth Vader number nine variant. And finally today, the big book from Marvel, uh, and the one that I think is going to be the big book for the week, it's Star Wars. Uh, it's got the longest title in the history of comics, by the way. The official title is Journey to Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Star Wars, Shattered Empire. This is issue number one. It's uh, got a cover by Phil Noto, written by Greg Rucka, Ill illustrated on the inside by Marco Cicciato. And the significant thing about this book is it's the first uh, in canon post Return of the Jedi book uh, from the Marvel uh, comic side of things since Disney took over. Um, so this is going to show you some of the lead up to The Force Awakens, hence the title Journey to Star Wars The Force Awakens. And uh, it's a four issue miniseries. And I'm thinking it's going to be a. Uh, an in-demand book, so you might want to pick this one up. There's also a blank cover variant. I'm not sure what to call this variant, the title variant. The Diamond Retailer Summit variant. An Ewok photo variant. And I believe this variant's by Marco Cicciato himself. Uh, this is my favorite of all the covers. So last week we were giving out a copy of Deadpool versus Thanos, and we're asking you who would win between the two characters. Charlie McCabe said Deadpool will win by stealing Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet and make Thanos laugh to death, but then Deadpool goes over and takes a crap in Thanos' mouth because he's Deadpool. <laughs> what? Boy, that one made me laugh. So <laughs> that was a good one. Take a crap in Thanos' mouth. <laughs> this is what Deadpool does, man. Nice. Good one. Uh, Shane Rock's like said, that's a trick question. Nor Deadpool or Thanos will win. This book is going to be the one that reveals Marvel and DC are joining together. Also introducing their new storyline. In issue 6, Ricky will show up in a suit and tie. Then he takes off his glasses, rips off his suit, and it shows he is the new Superman. I definitely think Superman could benefit from a sweet beard, perhaps. Uh, some sweet glasses. Maybe I don't rip off my glasses. Um, and there has to be a comb in that beard. I don't have my comb this week. I feel so naked. What is this? Those of you who saw me at Fanex would know. The comb is real. Comb life. But the winner goes to Shadow of Viper X13, who has probably the most hardcore name ever. They say Deadpool, in my opinion, because he'd probably be like, how am I going to fight Thanos in space? He'll fly a unicorn farting rainbows, then the unicorn will impale Thanos with his horn, and when Thanos is about to die, Deadpool kicks him in the ball sack and takes a selfie of his reaction and posts it on Facebook. That's amazing, and I want to see that happen because we all know that uh, unicorns are wicked. And who doesn't like a nice kick to the balls? That sounds hilarious. You ever watch, uh, you ever watch America's Funniest Home Videos? All it is is nut shots. Exclusive nut shots. And, imagine that drawn by Trad Moore. Mmm, many feet like this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This week what we're giving out is the hilariously long titled Journey to Star Wars The Force Awakened Star Wars Shattered Empire. Or as I like to call it, Phase. Yo, did you, uh... Did you see that awesome, like, uh, BB-8 droid thing? You were at Fan Expo all weekend. I did, but I didn't see so, it. So, no. uh, maybe that, you didn't see the... Is that the one on the ball? It's the one you control with your smartphone. Mm. Yeah, the droid, it's like a ball, and it has, like, a 
a head that magically stays on and moves around somehow. That's pretty cool. And you control it with your smart smartphone and you move it around and stuff. All right, so to win a copy of uh, Shattered Empires, let us know what you're most excited for about the new Star Wars movies and why. Best answer to win a copy of Star Wars Shattered Empire. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. What did we learn this week? We learned that Ricky, uh, we learned that the beard comb dream was a lie. <laughs> That's what we learned. I forgot it at, at, at home. <laughs> Yo, once once you go the beard comb way of life, there's no forgetting at home. That's true. Uh, we learned that uh, there's some awesome comics out this week. You should definitely pick them up. What else did we learn, right? The Black Hole Hunters Club trade is out into the wild. Okay, so when's it going to be available for people to buy online? We'll get back to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll put it up there. All right. He's a busy man, folks. He's a busy man. Give him time. Yeah, and I'll bring something to the store because we don't have any black That's right. Hey, store. there's an empty spot right there. I see for it. Yeah. I'm just waiting. But <laughs> Opportunity is not this guy's best friend. Remember to check out all the websites that you see listed here on the screen that are associated with us. Uh, we got a comic boxer video that's going to be up uh, probably in the next week or so, around the 15th of the month talk about some of the stuff that was in the August comic boxer shipment. Uh, we're taking orders right now for September, so make sure you jump on that bandwagon. Take care. We'll see you all next time for episode 245. Enjoy your comics this week, everyone.